Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, hey, another Saturday, another shave, here we go again, you've probably noticed, we're in a building site, I'll explain about that as the shave goes on, but we've got another one lined up for you today guys, and once again I think it's a good one, here we go, brush of choice, that's my Francois Bosse, you'll have to excuse me, I've got the camera the other way around, and I've got no mirror at all, <coughs> and there's dust about. And there you go. Francois Boss says 26 millimeter. There is his coin in the bottom. Look at that knot. Absolutely beautiful, plush, rich, dense knot. Absolutely wonderful brush. There you go. I got it in the official John Shaves Super Soaker. Um, the balm. We're going to be balming up with that. Dermot O'Leary, post shave balm. It's got bergamot and basil in it. Fits very well with the soap. We'll leave that there. Um, the soap that we're going to be using. I'm all at sixes and sevens because I want to I want to do the soap last because I want to talk about the soap. So we'll go with the razor. The razor, as you've seen in the thumbnail. Check this out, guys. Sorry, I've got to get used to the camera being on that side, not that side now. Check this out, titanium razors, TI-95, I bought a new handle for it. There it is, that's the crown, that's the crown handle there for the titanium razor. And there's the timeless on the bottom. So the camera's on this side, not that side. Normally when I do it, it's the other way around. But anyway, we'll get there, there you go. And what we're going to be putting in that I'll just undo that there. It's never used these before. Triple coated laser ultra. From memory, these were the ones. You remember, I used the Sunny Blades and the Staten Blades. And the woman sent me, she saw my video, um, and she sent me a ton of blades, and I think that was part of them. I've used laser blades before, but I've not used these particular laser blades. Laser blade, triple coated edge laser ultra. There you go, so we'll stick that in. I'm all at sixes and sevens, guys. Does it say anything on here? No, it just says laser ultra triple coated edges. There you go, and we'll get that. We'll get that in our timeless. <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> there you go, and cameras on that side, dear to me. Oh. What a performance, look, I can't do it. What a performance we have had. Uh, I've not been in from work long. There you go. And we've got that in there. Can you see? Can you see that edge there? See, it says TI-95. That's really nice handle. It looks really well, that, doesn't it? Absolutely beautiful. That knurling is pretty good as well. And we'll put that in there with the brush just to get some heat in that blade. Uh, and here we go, we'll crack on, get this shave on the go. Brian from Signature Soaps, um, I was talking to him, I can't remember how it came about, but I said, I'm going to do a Signature Saturday shave. He said, hold off, John, I'll send you some stuff. And you've seen the unboxing video, he sent me a couple of tins. And this is the one that we're going to be using today. This is Capra Insurium, okay? Tea tree, peppermint and lavender. Here we go. Clear the sinuses, there's dust everywhere. Here we go. There's the pour. This is good stuff, guys. You could eat this soap, you know. I said it before, don't eat it. I'm just, that's hyperbole for illustration purposes. But you could eat this. It's that good and nothing bad would happen to you. Look at that. Really nice pour. Now I can smell the peppermint already. Absolutely. The first thing you get is the peppermint. Now, to me, it smells like over here we have something called rock. I think the closest thing you would have to it in the States or other places is um, taffy, Laffy Taffy. Here we get it in big long tubes, you get Blackpool rock, you can get uh, Scarborough rock, um, other places rock. Um, and it's the, the, it, the peppermint from there, I like peppermint rock uh, or peppermint taffy. And it's a sweet, powdery um, peppermint scent. And that's what I get from here. A lovely sweet powdery. Tea tree, very mild. 
lavender, very mild. But Brian, he's managed to do with this what a lot of good soap makers strive to do. You can smell the individual notes, but you can also smell them all together as well. It's absolutely delightful if you like peppermint and no brainer. So that's that. Haven't got any of the splash, but I've got Condit. Um, Brian, if he's watching this, he may agree, he may disagree, but something in that complements that. The different scents, but they do seem to complement each other. I'm picking up maybe in the base notes. Um, maybe there's lavender or something in this, I don't know. But that goes very well with that. And that's what we're using. So without further ado, without any more waffleization, let's crack on with this shift. Please click like and subscribe. I have to say that every video, I've got to get into the habit. Yeah, I'm in my kitchen. We're having new kitchen and new bathroom. I haven't even got, I haven't got a bathroom. Uh, we've got a toilet and that's it. They've ripped the sink, the bath, the shower, everything out. Um, they're ripping this sink out first thing Monday morning. They said, but we'll botch it up and we'll leave it in for you. So you've got something over the weekend. But there's nothing, absolutely nothing here. A cooker and that's it. This is our kitchen completely and utterly empty. So here we go. So my wife said to me, you don't have to have a shave, you know. <laughs> I was like... Have you heard yourself? Right, let's see if we can lock. I forgot to lock. Oh, there you go, the focus. I don't think this light's going to be great. It's above us. It's a very, very bright light. Um, the window, the, the blinds, the curtains, everything off. It's been an absolute nightmare. And the window's right there. And there's the main road and people driving. Woo! <laughs> Here we go. Oh, Oh, guys, I would. This is wonderful. I would put the scent. I just don't know whether to shave with it or eat it. I would put the scent strength in the puck at about a seven. Lathered, I'd put it at about a five, maybe a six. But it's abs. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it's absolutely amazing. Like I said, if you like peppermint, mmm. This is, yeah, you're getting that now. Now I'm whipping the lather up and I'm getting that lovely, sweet, powdery. Mm. And the tea tree's coming through now as well. So how have you all been? How have your weeks been going? We're getting this stuff done. It's been a nightmare. Here we go. We've got that laser blade in there. Titan, ti titanium TI timeless. See that? It doesn't feel grippy. But it's grippy. It, it's a bizarre one. Well, here we go. That's a... Yeah, so we got... We got to all this work was being done. And... Uh, they said it will take 12 days. Now I remember... Now I remember 20 years ago, my brother-in-law bought my parents house and <clears throat> they moved out and he bought the house with my sister and they moved in and he said the first job I'm going to do he says I'm going to put a new bathroom in here and he bought a shower he bought a new toilet he bought a new wash hand basin and he bought a new bath uh, and I was talking to him on the Friday and he said I'm going to start that bathroom tomorrow this was Friday, yeah. So I said to my wife, I said, we won't visit Anne and Malk this weekend because he's doing the bathroom. Just leave him, let him get on with it. Now this is a man that's never done plumbing before in his life. He, he'd watched some videos and read a book, but he's a handy guy, you know, keep that in mind. Anyway. We had to go up on a Sunday afternoon, which I can't remember what for, but we had to go up Sunday. And he's there on the sofa. All chilled out with a cup of tea. After. I said, you decide not to do the bathroom then, Mike? He said, it's done. Done, listen to this, guys. He took the old one out, 
took all the copper piping, all the plumbing out, replumbed it all, turned the bath taps around so the bath could be switched around to the other end, plumbed the bath, the wash hand basin, taps, everything, toilet, fitted the shower in one day. Well, the reason I'm telling you this, these guys here, 12 days to do our bathroom and kitchen. They came on day one. Took the toilet and the wash hand basin out. Left, started at half nine, finished at half, half eleven, a late one. So, we'll, we'll just see where we go. Came back the next day, took the bath out, took the tiles off the wall, started at half nine, finished at half past one. Came the day after, which I think was yesterday, uh, ripped all the kitchen out in one day. I mean, only, only units, they all just, everything came out in one day. Same again, but four hours, Ripped the kitchen out, disappeared. That's an absolute joke. So we got in touch with the woman. And she said, oh, that's how they work. Well, I, I don't own this property. So, I'm at the landlord's mercy, really. The gas fitter came today. Fitted a pipe right there in his what? Oh, he's left the existing little bit that's coming out of the ceiling. He's left that. I don't know if you can, no, you can't see it. But it goes about what? One, two, three feet. One, two, three, down four feet. Back across three feet and into the cooker. He fitted that today. Used bolts too long, drilled right through the kitchen wall. They came out the living room wall, ripped all the wallpaper. All the living room wall, four big bolts sticking out the other side of that wall and the living room. So we got the woman, we said, You need to come and see this. So she came up, she went, What, what makes you think it was him? You couldn't write this stuff, could you guys? What makes you think it was him? Oh, yeah, yeah. The gas plumber who drilled the new gas pipe to the wall using four big bolts, what on earth? What on earth would make us think that the, those screws that came through the wall this morning were him? And that became last, last night. They left yesterday at one o'clock. All day, electric on, electric off, electric on, electric off. All day. Left at one o'clock, ten past one, the electric switched off. Nothing. No electric. So we phoned the woman up. Well, it's not our guys. Sent the electricians back. The electrician he stood in there. Said to my wife, "What makes you think it's us?" So till about ten o'clock last night, we had no electric, no heating, no nothing. Let's send out a team of emergency plumbers, uh, emergency electricians. Uh, they got it on last night. This is the first guy they sent out. I can't get in the cupboard. Well, force the door. It's a combination lock. Your team put it on. I can't do that, I'll come back Monday. So we can't go with no power. Oh, oh guys, honestly, it's just a comedy of errors. I'm not wound up, you have to be philosophical, but it just, it becomes all consuming, you know. And then the second guy came and the second guy said, I can't do it, I, I need something, I'm gonna have to. And he formed another team, then a third team came uh, and one guy's there uh, trying to fix it. Oh, oh, he's like, he's, oh, you should have heard the language he was using. We had to go out and say to him, you, you need to calm down, there's children here. Um, and then his friend, his friend's holding a little teeny tiny torch like that into the cubby hole where he's, that's, these are professional electricians. But anyway, they finally got it on. Finally got the power on. This team of electricians from this company. That it wasn't anything to do with them. They sent a team of electricians at their own expense to fix a fault on the electrics that, that they'd been working on all day. You know, we're easy going guys. We, 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 me and my wife and my daughter were very, very easy going people. We're non-judgmental, we're not aggressive. 
So at one point I just said to the guy, do you know what? I'd have more respect for you if you just came in and went, yeah, that's me, mate. I'll put it right as soon as I can. But hey, everybody's happy. Let's have come in on something you've been working on all day and then get pointed out a glaring fault and go, oh, it makes you think it was me. You can feel yourself getting agitated, can't you guys? Anyway, I waff I'm sorry, I'm waffling on. I'm just trying to explain, look at that. The like a shilling, so we're just trying to cuddle it. I don't know what's gonna lather mittens. Well, there wasn't a lot there, but this sort. Oh, guys, look, look at, look at the lather, look. Look at the peaks on it, look. Look at that. Absolute wonderful stuff, eh? Hey, and slick, wow. Absolute, I'll tell you what. If you're thinking, I won't tell you to buy anything. I wouldn't. But if you're thinking of buying a signature salt, you can't go wrong. Now, it has been levelled at me in the past. Someone, and I'm going back over a year now, but someone did make the point, a private message. You would like it, he gave it to you for free. Well, before Brian had ever heard of me, I purchased signature salts off his website and used it and made a video without his knowledge and it was fantastic. I raved about it then. Now, I'll tell you what, these people that say these things, why don't you just credit us with some integrity because I'll tell you this now, I know Brian and there's no way on God's earth Brian would want me to say I love that if I didn't. Brian's not that kind of guy, and neither am I. If I didn't like it, I'd tell you. But it's good stuff, guys, and I'm not telling you to buy it. But I'm saying if you're on the fence and you're thinking and you're wondering, I certainly think it is exceptional salt, exceptional quality, all vegan, super slick, lovely lather. You've seen for yourself. Can't go wrong with that, can you? We did okay, didn't we? There you go. What we're going to do now. Here we go. <laughs> Shake well before use. See, that, that joke, it never gets old, does it, guys? It never gets old. My wife's going to see this video on you. I can't believe you shaved in the kitchen sink and let everybody see that. Yeah, well. Oh, that's it. What is it? Oh, yes. I'll tell you what it is. It's geranium. It's the geranium I'm picking up. And there's something to my nose. There's a... The geranium and the peppermint seem to share a DNA. I don't know if they do, but they go very, very well together. And there you go. Dermot O'Leary. I say it every time I use it. He's a clown. This is okay, though. He's a daytime TV celeb, guys, if you live in another country. Dermot O'Leary, I call him Dermot O'Leary, he gets right on my nerves. But here we go. And that's us. That's how I say. Thanks for sticking with me. Apologies for the kitchen. Hopefully it'll all be worth it. Do you know when all this is done? And I'll do a shave in the bathroom and you'll all be going, doesn't look any different. <laughs> that's me. Thank you very much. Oh, it's this side now, isn't it? Yeah. Thanks for sticking with me, guys. I appreciate each and every one of you. Watch these videos and give it a thumbs up. And then the comments. Do you know, um, some videos I'm off colour, some videos... I don't tend to get grouchy. Uh, I never say anything negative. I do try and say it positive, but there's ups and downs, isn't there? But you're all there, all with me, week in, week out. And I just wanted to say thank you to you all. I appreciate it. And remember... Be the change you wish to see in the world. And then you've changed the world. Look after yourselves. And I will see you all on Wednesday. And I've got a special Wednesday shave lined up. Bye.